do this between the last day and the first day of every month and you will be packing money like sand you will chase away every negativity you will enjoy the length and breadth of the new month and they possess all your possession do this between the last day and the first day of the new month and you will never suffer any evil any attacks disappointment failure backwardness in the new month by god's blessing today's video i wish to share with you a simple environmental cleansing that you can actually do in your home in your office or shop to end the old month and enter into new month and enjoy the length and breadth of the new month apparently i am trying to say that on 30th september this 2023 is actually the day you will do this particular recipe and then use it to enter the new moon and you will enjoy the length and breadth of the new moon and you come and thank me later because believe me you are going to see tremendous results if only you follow me to the end of today's video you will surely get this information but before then Please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it. As you do so, may God bless you. So welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I'll discuss three important variables which actually have safety and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply this trick correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit. It becomes your starting point. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you're highly welcome. Please do it to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video for my returning subscribers. I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. For my new timers, if you're searching for any video, all you need to do is go through the side button in YouTube, type Jenny Action TV slash the keyword of the video you're looking for. For example, money. You get the videos I've made about attracting money, you watch and get some value. So with that, I shall wasting your time. Let's delve right in. Now, on the last day of the month, being 30th of this September, then you can still be doing this at the last day of every month. It's not about, it's not peculiar to September alone. But being that this particular month is September, on the very last day, which is actually on a Saturday, and then it is going to break into a Sunday, and then you know that the month is actually 30th in number. Remember that that Saturday is the ideal day of doing cleanup it will be very very awesome if you do a sort of cleanup in your home removing every form of cobwebs be sure that there is no single spider in your home those things are bringing obstacle hindrances now when you when you begin to sweep your home that day make it a prophetic match don't just sweep anyhow like i made that video before and declare that i'm sweeping away negativity sweeping away every a, a kind of problem of last month you mentioned specifically those things every problem of the month that is those things you experience specifically that particular month that you don't like maybe sickness losses lack of sales court case, disappointment, failure, lack of marriage proposal, anything, you know, all those negativity that are sweeping it away today, that I am declaring that you are going out with this month, you now remove every cobweb, then use salt water to mop your house that day. Make sure that you clean every window, because actually, I am saying the time with your number, anything coming to you, whether good or bad, in terms of spiritual realm, passes through the window pass it doesn't pass through the door so when you have cleaned your entire house that day remember to drop one one clove of garlic on each window to begin to remove every negativity and quench every attack to that room. and also if you notice that your house is always under surveillance in other words you are being monitored you can actually pound charcoal and mix it with salt and sprinkle on all your windows by god's grace that monitoring we end but the main work i want you to do on that september is you need to get me bay leaf is not ordinary if you don't have bay leaf go and buy bay leaf then on each room in your house drop nine nine bay leaf now if it is month of or October, you are ending to end, enter month of November. Drop 10, 10 bay leaf. You are not dropping one place. Like, scatter it in your home. Then, if it is a kind of month of uh, December, you are entering. Then, for that 
Sept for that November that we usher in December, drop 11 level bellies. I hope you get it. If you are going to do it for January, entering February, you just drop one one bay leaf on each of your rooms. So now you go to your room, every corner, you can drop four edges and some in the middle, but let it be nine in each of the room, including kitchen, bedroom, a bathroom, everywhere. As you are dropping it, you are declaring that every negative energy, everything that will block finances, that will block open door in this particular month that is coming, that will make me know to achieve this particular thing. Be specific about the things you want. You can even write out the things you want to happen to you in the next month and so that you will not forget, you can write it out and carry it in the paper, be going into that each of the room, that anything and everything that will make me know to possess so, 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 that today, as I drop it, may this belly absorb it and that I must possess this and that. Then after you have dropped it, leave it there overnight. In the morning of the first day of the month, what you will now do is gather all the belly. You can use broom to sweep them together with every other date that will be in that room because I told you to sweep your room at least every once a day. If you don't have time in the morning, like I know that it's on Sunday you are going to church, leave sweeping your house. Go to church and come back. You can do it even any time that is convenient on that first. Then as you sweep all of them together in a place, maybe in the middle of your parlor, maybe in the middle of, remember, don't sweep out the main door, in the middle of the kitchen, in the middle of passage, any place that is convenient, sweep out from all of each room and let it be in a circle, middle of a particular place. It can be middle of the passage, middle of the parlor, depending on the nature of the parlor you have. Then when you have done that, then get a mashes. And you know that bay leaf is very, very dry. Now, if you, the place you are living, you it, you don't want it to kind of to mess up your place or mess up the ground to an extent, you can actually put something like stainless plate and then pack it into that stainless plate, then set it ablaze. You know that it's bay leaf is dry, it's going to be born. As it is burning, then begin to pray and everything you want to happen to you in that new month. Make sure that all the windows are open to remove every negative energy. If it is not what you can burn in your parlor, go outside. Carry all everything you sweep together inside that stainless plate. Then go outside as it's burning, be praying. Everything you want to happen to you in that new month. You want marriage proposal, you want favor, you want connection, you want to open door, you want breakthrough, you want new job, all of them begin to pray and so God, the creator of the universe, that today I come before you in this month, in this new month, remember me that I need this and that and that. You then, as you finish praying, be thanking God why that smoke is going up, going up to the sky. You thank God that you have received all these things you have you have prayed, all these things you have said, you appreciate God. Gratitude is the best attitude. Thank Him for bringing you into the new month and thank Him for every good thing He has done for you. And then when it has converted to ashes into that stainless plate or on the ground, depending on how you are burning it, then pack that ash. Once it's in the morning, it may be on second, it may not be that day. It depends on the time that you actually burn it. Go to the early morning and blow it by God's grace. You are going to experience tremendous open door as never before. You are going to experience what that's the type of breakthrough you have never experienced. Because you know that belief is associated with victory, it's associated with favor, it's associated with money, it's associated with getting any good thing that you want. You can do it in your home, go to your shop and repeat the same process, or do it in your home, go to your office and repeat the same process. Thank God it's weekend, nobody will come and be like monitoring what is it that you are burning or doing. Burn it in that environment and see God in action. Anything you burn attracts supernatural forces. And definitely, it, the, those supernatural forces are not coming into and they, they will surely come with what you requested. And you will see another level of grace in this new moon that is coming. That's apparently for this month, it's October. But you can be doing it any, and using it to be crossing over any new moon. And believe me, crossing over from old moon to new moon. And believe me, you will surely come back and testify. Don't forget to testify you because we overcome the name by words of our testimony and blood of the Lamb. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video believing that somebody has actually found value. If you're one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not done so, hit the bell notification so to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and share it to everyone. My shall be helping a lot of people. So do so. May God bless you. I know you cause you to ride upon the high place of this year. Still your lady Jenny saying bye-bye.